Alright everybody, um, I'm gonna continue with my yearly tradition, I'm going to review E3. Um, uh, my first review for E3 conferences was back in 2012, and then I did it in 2013, and I'm doing it now. This time I am not going to be reviewing the Nintendo conference, because I'm just... I just don't feel like reviewing Nintendo's conference, saying... Now that they're doing the Nintendo Direct and they're not having actual conferences anymore, I don't feel like they're worth my time. So, I'm going to review Microsoft's press conference, and the reason why I'm two days late and I didn't do it today, that happened, is because first of all, I was in school when the press conference was taking place, um, and plus I've been studying for exams. But, regardless, let me just do this, get this done with, and I'll share my thoughts on Microsoft Press Conference. So, the first, uh, to kick off the show, they started off with the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare uh, exclusive gameplay, and I thought the gameplay looked pretty good. Um, pretty good, I'm pretty glad I pre-ordered the game. And then they went on to have a whole bunch of other games, like Forza Motorsport, which I wasn't interested, Evolve, which I wasn't really interested, uh, they showed some gameplay from Assassin's Creed Unity, which I was kind of interested, but not really, because I know I'm not going to get Unity when it comes out. I still haven't played through any of my Assassin's Creed games that I have. I bought all the games, and I still haven't finished any of them, because I just wasn't interested in them. So, there's that. But, regardless, the game looks good. Don't get me wrong. And, uh, Dragon Age, which... I wasn't really interested either. So, and then there was Sunset Overdrive, which uh, was is being developed by Insomniac, exclusive for the Xbox One. And what I think about the Xbox One exclusivity thing is that, I mean, it sucks. I mean, it doesn't suck because I wasn't interested in the game anyway. But for people who are interested in the game, I guess it sucks for them. Possibly. Um... But I, I noticed the game looked really cartoony, and uh, the trailer was really good, but the gameplay didn't look too impressive in my opinion. Dead Rising 3 DLC by Capcom. Um, they had Capcom characters, and like Ryu, and all those other people. And um, they had uh, bonus stages, like in the Dead Rising thing. Uh, I don't have Dead Rising 3, I wasn't really that interested in it. Um, they were kind of poking fun at the DLC that they're always doing. Like, they're always releasing the same game over and over again, and I kind of find it funny how Capcom was poking fun at their own terrible business practices. <sighs> but, regardless, uh, Fantasia Music Evolved, don't care. Dance Central Spotlight, don't care either. Both are exclusive to Xbox. Um, I think they're also on the 360, if I'm not mistaken. And, uh, Fable Legends, uh, nah, never really was into Fable, but Fable's one of those big Xbox exclusive franchises, kind of like how PlayStation has their kill zone and stuff. Uh, you know, and they're Uncharted and all that stuff. Um, Xbox has games like Forza and Halo, and they have also have Fable. It's just one of their exclusives that they're continuing the series, they're moving on to death. Whatever. Project Spark, which is basically this hu huge game. They announced it last year in E3, but they kind of, they just released a brand new trailer, um, and the trailer had Conquer in it, which, first of all, Conquer's Bad Fur Day wasn't really a good game in the first place, but you know, everyone went crazy, but then again, ever since Serer came to Microsoft, they haven't been making that good games anyway, I mean, the games weren't amazing to begin with, I mean, just being truthful, but it's just the fact that it brings that childhood nostalgia for a whole bunch of people, so that's why people like that, and that's why they put Con Conquer in the game. Um, what else? A game called Ori, I think it's like an indie game? Uh, whatever. Um, they had a trailer for the new Halo game. And they announced something that was really, really cool. They announced the Halo Master Chief Collection, 
which consists of Halo 1 through 4. It's an awesome. And there are every single multiplayer map, every single campaign mission, everything in one thing. That's nothing I've ever seen before, and I'm really impressed. I'm gonna again, well, I'll talk about that later. But basically, they showed they showed some gameplay of Halo 2 because Halo 2 is what people are most looking forward to, since um, Halo 1 was remade recently. Halo 3, I mean, it's uh, I mean, it was released a while ago, so I guess people if there was if people would be second most excited about that. And Halo 4, people weren't um, too big fans of the multiplayer, at least. But I heard it did get positive reviews. I did I did own the game, but I just decided to trade it in because I wasn't really interested in it. I mean, I didn't play Halo 2 before, though, either. So uh, it will be a, a new experience for me if I ever get the chance to get an Xbox One and play the game. Um, but it will keep everyone waiting for the next Halo game, surely. And the way that the, the, the way that they're designing it is that they have the playlist. So, like, they have a playlist. It's a one game, basically. But the multiplayer is in one game. And the playlist, you can switch from one, two, three, four, and combined. So, basically, you know how you can create Halo maps? You could do that for all four games and merge them together. Uh, the whole thing with Halo Reach, uh, I'm just talking about something else right now. The whole thing with Halo Reach and Halo Anniversary is that the Halo, the multiplayer will merge together. But, like, if you had Halo Anniversary, you couldn't play certain Reach things, and vice versa. But now that it's in one universal game, this will solve any of the issues that have occurred before. Unless they sell them separately, which I hope they do not do. Because $60 for four games, I think anyone would be interested in that. Moving on. Inside, which is uh, an indie game, I believe. Uh, it basically had this, has this little kid running. It's like kind of like a platformer. Uh, it looks kind of cool, I guess. Um, they had a huge showcase of a whole bunch of indie games that I didn't even, uh, I mean, I'm not really that much of an indie person. Some of them looked cool. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, but you know, indie games are good. It's good to have indie games because it increases the library on your console. They had more Tomb Raider. A uh, different Tomb Raider game now. A new Tomb Raider. Um, not really too interested in it, to be honest. And then they had Witcher 3, Phantom Dust, uh, The Division, and then they had Crackdown. To be honest, all these games, like the games I just mentioned, I wasn't really interested either. But now it's time for me to talk about my overall thoughts. Now, Usually when I review something, I give like a, a numbered score, or a letter, a le I give a letter score now, back in 2012 and 2013, I believe also, I did um, letter scores, I mean I did number scores, and now I'm doing letter scores, but when it comes to these, I don't feel like giving them an actual grade would be, I don't know, like, it's one of those things where I don't think that doing that would be, would make sense in my opinion. So I'm just going to review this just by giving a few comments and just overall my overall thoughts. So what I say about this game, about this conference, is that I think that Microsoft did an overall good job. They convinced me that I do, I want an Xbox One now, and also that fact that the Xbox One will be four hundred dollars. Just the exclusives that they had um, were all right. I mean, a lot of the exclusives they had didn't interest me. But, Halo Master Chief Collection interests me a lot. Um, and I also want to play, like, Titanfall, too, because I never got to play that game, and I heard it was, I mean, I heard some mixed reviews from people, but the only reason why I don't have it now is because my PC can run it, it's just, I, I, I have a policy where I'm never going to buy Origin, or EA Origin is terrible, I'm never going to buy Origin. Uh, games through Origin, rather. But, Microsoft overall convinced me to get an Xbox One. And, I'm, I'm, hopefully, I'm, you know, as soon as I get my work going, you know, get my job going, uh, I'm probably going to get one. And, sure, I could do the easy way, and I could get a YouTube partnership and make, make a good, substantial amount of money. 
well, at least enough to pay for my games, but I just don't feel like it's right to do that at this point. Sure, I've been on YouTube for eight years. I should have done this a long time ago, but I just, I don't know. I'll cross that bridge when it gets there with partnership. But overall, thank you guys for watching my Microsoft press conference review. And right after, like, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to record the Sony review. So stay stay tuned for that. Well, by the time you get this, you'll probably see both reviews up.